she said to me that whatever you were teaching didn't really help me in industry. So you just focus on force method, displacement method. I hardly use them. Real structures are not like that. So teach it something which can help us. So at that point, it got me thinking that really as lecturers, we should actually do something. Then I decided to try to solve questions. And I couldn't do them myself. Then three months ago, I started really working on it and then posting questions on <laughs> LinkedIn and yes. creating some free resource on YouTube. So that really came from my heart, actually. Hello, welcome to this uh, live uh, technical discussion as a part of SQV Structural Summit. So this is our session uh, number 86. And today we are uh, going to talk about very interesting topic, uh, discovering uh, intuition in uh, structural analysis. So we'll be ha uh, having Dr. Uh, Javed Qureshi with us. Uh, he is a senior lecturer at uh, East uh, University of London. Yeah. So uh, let us welcome uh, Dr. Javed uh, and uh, let us have a very interesting discussion on uh, structural analysis. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, Dr. Javed. Thank, thank you so much for having me, Bhavan. It's yeah. really a pleasure. I'm so super excited to be here. Yes. And yes. Yes. just yes. it's University of East London. Uh, it's not East University okay. of London. So. Oh, sorry. It's, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely right. I mean, the questions were absolutely amazing. And it got me thinking that maybe we will have several sessions, but we will yeah. see how it goes. If your audience, they like it, then we will cover certain yeah. topics. And yeah. some of the topics were really very exciting because uh, one on steel concrete composite structures, which is my expertise as well. So I really wanted to touch upon that. But due to yeah. shortage of time, I will just yeah. stick to the topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. So before we start, can we can you can you just uh, tell tell the audience that what was the inspiration behind uh, behind you know uh, creating this uh, or uh, or you know creating this awareness uh, for the bending moment and shear force diagrams? What was the in uh, inspiration behind that? Uh, it's not just bending moment and shear force diagram. Oh, yeah. I was attending an event a couple of years ago, and I met one of my student at University of Leeds. I was a PhD student there and I was demonstrating as well. I had some part-time uh, teaching over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, she met me after so many years and she said to me that whatever you were teaching didn't really help me in industry. So you just focus on force method, displacement method, uh, moment, moment distribution method, method is a little bit used, but other methods, I hardly use them. Real structures are not like that. So teach it something which can help us. So at that point, it got me thinking that really as lecturers, we should actually do something. But we're always scared of trying out new things, actually. So yeah. then I decided to uh, try to solve questions. Very difficult <laughs> bending moment diagram and question. And I couldn't do them myself. Okay. That got me into thinking that now I should do something if I'm not confident that how I will produce really very confident engineers. Then three months ago, I started really working on it and then posting questions on <laughs> LinkedIn and yes. creating some free resource on YouTube because Great. students or engineers, they tell me that, okay, if you're talking about books, they are expensive. How can we afford it? So I said, so that really came from my heart, actually. So, Great. and then I, uh, I started learning lots of things myself. So I thought I have a responsibility to share it as well. And I came up with a quote as well, which I will share uh, at the, at the end. And another sure. inspiration three months ago was that we get a lot of Indian students at our university who struggle to get jobs here. So when okay. I started posting about this is a frame, this is off center point load, how to work out its deflected shape. 
So when three or four students last three months ago, they said to me, sir, we got a job because after watching your uh, tutorial on YouTube or uh, LinkedIn, then we got a job. And that Great. really touches your heart. So when something touches your heart, then certainly you really want to go for it. That was the inspiration. Yes, yes. yes.